In this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating a really cool sort of rock and roll style t-shirt. Now what I want to do now is take this Jimi Hendrix uh, bitmap based design that I found on the internet and uh, we're going to convert this into a vector based object to easily manipulate and recolor and make edits and changes as necessary. So this is definitely sort of a pop art style and I think you'll see that at the end. So this particular bitmap, as soon as I click on it, it displays all the information here at the very bottom. So it tells me that this is a grayscale bitmap. And that means that this is colors white through black, but of course uh, a lot of gray tones uh, that, that sort of intermix. So as I zoom in here, you'll see the flesh tone, you'll see there's a lot of gray area in here. What we want to do is we really want to uh, sort of eliminate a lot of that gray region. We really want to define the black and the dark areas, and of course define the uh, white areas of the graphic. So what we're going to do to do that is I'm going to go to the effects menu, and the, first very, the very first option says adjust. And of course, as I uh, hover my mouse over the Adjust option, we have the, another option that says Contrast Enhancement. So I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, particular uh, selection. And you'll notice how we have this new little menu here that pops up on our workspace. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these two values here on the very left and right hand side. So you'll notice as I move my mouse, uh, and, and I'm clicking on this little control point here, move it to the left, and if I, or the right rather, click preview, you'll see that change now made in my design. So you'll see how that area just became much darker. Likewise, if I move the uh, control point from the very right, and I'm left mouse clicking and I'll move that in, click preview, uh, you'll notice how the white area has been concentrated. So there's really no magic formula. Every uh, you know, bitmap based image tends to be unique. So really uh, you know, just make some adjustments here until you dial in the right effect and the right uh, settings. Go ahead and preview this design. Um, so that's looking fairly suitable. I might back out some of the dark and preview this one more time. So that, that's enough detail uh, to really give a sense of this design. But really what we're doing is we're concentrating the dark or the black portion of the graphic and we're concentrating on the white portions of the design as well. So I want to go ahead and click OK now that we've done that concentration and really created some contrast. The next step is to take this grayscale, of course I still have gray in here, and convert this to a truly black and white uh, bitmap. So I'll do that by going to the bitmaps drop down menu, convert to bitmap, and we'll go ahead and uh, from the color mode we'll say black and white. Go ahead and select OK and you'll notice that transformation now made on our workspace. Now really the next step in this uh, sequence is to take this bitmap and to vectorize it. So I'm going to go to trace bitmaps and we'll go and do this as a line art based bitmap. Of course we'll reduce the uh, the size of that particular bitmap before we trace it, so we remove some of the uh, complexity. Of course, notice the uh, status bar at the very bottom right-hand corner. You know, anytime you have a really complex graphic, you know, Corel's going to take its time to render, so we'll be patient and wait for it to make all of its uh, decision making. And we'll see, of course, a preview on our workspace. Now, notice in this particular uh, menu here, I'm going to go and zoom in. Notice how we have a, a transparent background in some regions, and then in others we have that white area. Well. I want to remove that. So what's the best way to do it? Notice where this uh, option uh, segment here, here is where my mouse is hovering and it says remove background and we can also specify a specific color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the specify color option, click the eyedropper and then go and sample a color. Notice how it's selected that specific color where I clicked. What you also want to do is say remove color from entire image. So if we back out this particular design, you'll see how it's removed white from this entire graphic. So now this is truly just a one color vector based object. This is now just black. So if I go ahead and click OK, you'll see that transformation made on our, our workspace. And of course we have our original. So here's the original on the left, the uh, bitmap uh, based uh, graphic. And of course on the uh, right hand side we have the vector based object. So I could go in here and continue to make any uh, adjustments or changes to this. So if I want to color this design, I can go ahead and select a color, and you'll see how that you know, will recolor on my workspace now since it's vector. So this is certainly uh, not appropriate for every single occasion, but th this is very, um, a very distinct pop art based look, and you can see how easy it is to take a photographic based image and uh, convert it to a vector based object to easily then uh, screen print or, or process in any other way.